if I already eat a healthy diet, sleep well, and exercise, what else really moves the needle? So knowing your numbers, everyone should know certain numbers related to their risk of cognitive decline and brain health. In 2019, we published a paper called the ABCs of Alzheimer's Risk Reduction Management. In 2024, in Nature Mental Health, we published another paper called the ABCDs and E's. So let me explain what these are. Everyone should know their numbers. If you eat a healthy diet, if you think you're healthy and you think you're doing everything right, you may be doing everything right, but what are your numbers? So A is anthropometrics. That's a big word for body composition. It's not just about weight, but it's also about what your weight is made up of. As the belly size gets larger, the memory center in the brain gets smaller. Everyone out there needs to know their percent body fat. What is your percent body fat? What is your muscle mass? There are at-home scales for a couple of hundred dollars that can track these things. They're not perfect, but they're pretty good. There are DEXA scans that also look at bone density and body fat and muscle mass. And those are a couple hundred bucks. I go to a DEXA every year in, in New York City. It's $150. Yes, not covered by insurance. I do pay for it because it's important to my health. A DEXA scan can help you track these things. It's not just about weight. It's about your waist. It's about your muscle mass. The more muscle you have, the faster your metabolism. And, and the faster your metabolism is, the lower your blood Blood sugar is and the lower your blood sugar is the better metabolic and brain health you have so a is for anthropometrics b is for blood-based biomarkers and i'm going to give the old-fashioned answer before the brain biomarkers existed cholesterol markers nutrition markers inflammatory markers and metabolic markers everyone out there should know in my opinion what their fasting insulin is what their fasting blood sugar is. A lot of people talk about their hemoglobin A1C or HbA1C. These are all markers of risk of diabetes and prediabetes. To me, prediabetes is diabetes. I believe that when it's related to brain health. So if someone says, I'm doing great, I feel good. My doctor says I'm fine. Well, what are those numbers? Know your numbers. It's not just about normal. It's about optimal. And everyone needs to know their LDL their HDL may or may not be important. Triglycerides, really critical. Omega-3 fatty acid levels, vitamin B12 level, homocysteine levels, vitamin D. And there's a lot more, but everyone should know these numbers. You can get more education. Retainyourbrain.com has a free program where you can learn these risk factors. And then the software guides you and educates you. You can go to ind.org, free education. So, so there's a lot of resources out there. Know those numbers. C, cognitive assessments. The retainyourbrain.com software actually does cognitive assessments within the software. It's hard to do cognitive testing. In the past, people had to come into offices. It's costly. It's not covered by insurance. We're a sick care system. We're not a health care system. Cognition is key. If someone out there wants to do more about their brain health, get a cognitive screening so that at least they have a baseline. And then if something changes later, you can cross compare and that baseline is worth its weight in gold.